On March 4th, several videos circulating online captured the moment a white new energy vehicle exhibited at the Hangzhou Auto City caught fire. According to reports, smoke suddenly billowed from this vehicle within the exhibition hall of the Auto City. Firefighters rushed to the scene, daringly moved the smoking car to the parking lot outside, where it erupted into flames. The nearby building bore signs reading, quote, Hangzhou Auto City and, quote, Hangzhou International Expo Center. Questions arose on Weibo about the brand of the vehicle that caught fire, but those sharing the video said, quote, cannot tell you. China manufactured electric cars and bicycles have been prone to spontaneous combustion due to battery hazards. Despite official efforts to conceal such incidents, the occurrence of thousands of combustion incidents resulting in the loss of numerous lives exposes the harsh reality. Statistics suggest that in China, there are approximately eight incidents of electric car self-ignition per day. However, compared to electric cars, incidents of self-ignition caused by electric bicycles, which are nearly ubiquitous among Chinese households, represent a more imminent threat. It was like mobile explosives lurking among the populace. At 4.39 a.m. on February 23, 2024, a fire broke out at the Block 6 of Mingxiang West Garden in the Yuhuatai district of Nanjing, Changsu Province. The accident claimed 15 lives and injured 44. This image, captured by a netizen on February 23, depicts the scene of a Nanjing fire. The blaze raged from the ground floor to the 30th floor. Cries for help amidst the raging inferno were unbearable to hear. Following the Nanjing fire, officials attributed the accident to a fire caused by electric bicycles being charged in the elevated layer within the building. Experts suggest that the failure of the fire doors within high-rise buildings to effectively block the spread of smoke was a significant factor contributing to the casualties. However, they avoided addressing the safety hazards posed by the batteries of electric bicycles. Since the Chinese Communist Party vigorously promoted electric cars and bicycles, lightweight and convenient electric bicycles have become the preferred mode of transportation for urban dwellers across China, with almost one in every household. Statistics reveal that China's stock of electric bicycles has reached 350 million, with an annual output exceeding 35 million, ranking first in the world. Similar to electric cars, the extensive use of substandard batteries in electric bicycles has led to frequent spontaneous combustion incidents triggering fires. According to Chinese firefighting data, there were a total of 18,000 reported electric bicycle fires nationwide in 2022, marking a 23.4% increase from 2021. Additionally, there were 3,242 reported fires in residential areas caused by battery malfunctions, representing a 17.3% increase from 2021. However, the numbers for 2023 are even more alarming. According to data from the National Fire and Rescue Bureau of China, there were 21,000 reported electric bicycle fires nationwide in 2023 representing a 17.4% increase from 2022. Just how terrifying is it when the battery of an electric bicycle catches fire? From smoke emission to explosion, it's almost instantaneous. In a garage, an electric bicycle is being charged. Suddenly, thick smoke billows out and within 3 to 4 seconds, it bursts into flames. A man had just parked his bicycle when it started emitting smoke, rapidly catching fire and exploding. He didn't even have time to move the bicycle. The man was wearing winter clothes, which ruled out the possibility of the explosion being caused by excessively high summer temperatures. In another instance, a garage storing electric bicycles caught fire. From the moment smoke was detected to the explosion, it took less than four seconds, leaving no time to escape as thick smoke quickly filled the entire garage. Two men attempted to take the electric bicycles up in the elevator, but the bicycle started emitting smoke. Fortunately, they quickly opened the elevator and evacuated in time. Once an electric bicycle battery ignites, it can quickly explode within 5 seconds, flames shooting out from the surface of the battery. 30 seconds later, the smoke generated by the fire can engulf the entire room and corridor. 90 seconds later, the temperature can reach up to 200 degrees Celsius while toxic gases spread upward along the stairs. 
This is the primary reason for the fires as well as casualties caused by electric bicycle explosions. In China, whenever electric bicycle combustion incidents occur, all media and experts attribute them to reasons such as illegal modifications by users, improper charging practices, aging wiring, improper usage, and haphazard parking. Chu E, Secretary General of the Low Speed Traffic Branch of the China Urban Transportation Association, previously stated in media interviews that in recent years, Electric bicycle fire and explosion incidents have shown several characteristics. Firstly, they often occur in non-standard or over-standard vehicles. Secondly, over 80% of these incidents involve vehicles that have been illegally modified or were subjected to improper charging practices such as excessive charging or overnight charging. The authorities completely overlook the option of substandard batteries causing fires. Are electric bicycle fires truly caused by modifications and improper charging? Data released by the Beijing Fire Department's official website in February of this year shows that in January alone, Beijing witnessed 33 electric bicycle fire incidents with 13 occurring while in motion, 15 during stationary uncharged periods and only 5 during charging, accounting for a mere 15%. These incidents involved 24 different electric bicycle brands, including well-known Chinese brands such as Yadia, Aima, and Luyuan. Notably, only one fire was attributed to modification. Don't assume that buying a branded vehicle means it won't catch fire or that fires only occur during charging. With nearly 400 million electric bicycles in circulation, expecting no fire incidents is indeed wishful thinking. In a video clip, a man asserts that the country should focus on regulating the production sources of electric bicycles and batteries. However, in China, when any casualties occur, it's the ordinary citizens who end up bearing the brunt of strict regulations and losses. Following the Nanjing fire, communities in the affected area and surrounding neighborhoods began clearing out electric bicycles stored in the elevated layer, erecting fences to prohibit parking. The ground was littered with towed electric bikes. In the video, a female voice expressed concern about many people being unable to locate their own bicycles. Residents are questioning what will happen to electric bicycles in the future, where will they be parked, and where will they be charged? It's been suggested to temporarily leave them there and address the issue later. The Nanjing fire incurred losses of over 100 million yuan, prompting online discussions about compensation. Some experts attribute responsibility to both the vehicle owners for illegally parking their bicycles in hallway overhead spaces and the property management for failing in their duty of care. However, there has been no official acknowledgement of the root cause of the fires, the battery issue. In recent years, due to increasing incidents of self-ignition, many local governments have prohibited electric bicycles from entering residential areas or hallway spaces, mandating property management to construct dedicated parking sheds with charging stations for centralized parking and charging. For instance, Guangdong province issued directives requiring each neighborhood to establish at least one centralized charging facility by the end of August 2023. Industry insiders suggest that promoting orderly charging in the communities is the optimal solution for safely charging, as well as the most economical and scalable market promotion strategy. Is this centralized parking and charging method truly economical and safe? Netizens argue that there are too many electric bicycles and too few charging stations, which are also exorbitantly priced. In Shenzhen, it costs 1.5 yuan per hour to charge, and with standard 72 volt batteries requiring 7 to 8 hours of charging, the total cost amounts to nearly 10 yuan. Considering some people commute long distances to work, needing to charge daily, with average salaries ranging from 3 to 5,000 yuan, it's a significant expense for each month. Some neighborhoods' charging station fees have skyrocketed. While two years ago it was merely 1 yuan for 4 hours, it has since become increasingly expensive. The exorbitant charging fees aside, centralized parking and charging pose a significant risk. If one bicycle catches fire, it could ignite a whole fleet.
On February 23rd, 2023, in a centralized electric bicycle parking shed in Zhenjiang, Jiangsu province, a single bicycle caught fire, quickly engulfing the shed. Within a mere four minutes, the raging flames reduced 70 bicycles to charred husks. Many are left wondering who bears the burden of compensating for the losses incurred by the burned vehicles. This is in Poli, Jiajuan, Chaoyang District, Beijing, where a fire broke out in a shed housing electric bicycles, affecting multiple vehicles. A senior woman in the video lamented, quote, The property management forbade us from parking upstairs and instructed us to park in the designated area. But now, a fire caused by an electric bicycle has destroyed my vehicle. The property management insists we seek compensation from the bicycle owner. According to local fire department assessments, the owner of the self-ignited electric bicycle is liable to compensate for the losses incurred by other vehicle owners. Under Chinese regulations, if a vehicle self-ignites and the cause cannot be definitely attributed to the vehicle or battery, the owner bears the consequences. However, with the vehicle destroyed, how can the owner prove whether it was the vehicle or the battery at fault? Many people expressed outrage, commenting, We followed your directives to use centralized charging stations for safety, but when a fire occurs, you wash your hands of responsibility and require us to compensate. We are also victims. You directed us to use centralized charging stations. Why should I bear the responsibility for someone else's vehicle catching fire? We parked according to regulations. We didn't use flying lines for charging, so how did the bicycle still catch fire? Where should we charge them? So the issue was misaddressed from the start. Batteries that can ignite pose a risk regardless of where they are charged. Shouldn't we first address the quality of the batteries? The memory of the fire incident in Nanjing is still fresh. However, on February 27th, a new incident occurred. A video from a residential building in Jinan, Shandong province, showed an electric bicycle catching fire and exploding by itself, even though it wasn't being charged. This caused thick smoke to spread all through the hallway. The video captured the explosion and the terrified screams of a woman. The explosion ignited three to four other electric vehicles, engulfing the entire ground floor of the building in flames, leaving behind a scene of devastation. Incidents of electric bicycle explosions have become all too common in China. Media reports indicate that in February alone, Beijing witnessed at least 28 electric bicycle fire incidents. However, commentary from official Chinese state media often glosses over these issues, failing to address them head-on. In a video commentary on the Nanjing fire incident, commentator Brother Geng Zhe from the Global Times remarked that users couldn't be blamed for haphazard charging as there were too few charging stations. Nor could property management be faulted as densely populated areas made it challenging to keep up. He emphasized that the issue of fires caused by electric bicycle charging wasn't just about firefighting or property management in one community. It involved a series of issues such as urban planning in densely populated cities and setting standards. He added that no country in the world had experience managing such a series of problems ranging from firefighting safety to transportation and land use planning. In essence, his message conveyed that with such a complex problem, no single entity can be held accountable, and currently solutions are sought through trial and error. And netizens responded directly, emphasizing, You're missing the point. It's about the quality and technology of the batteries, not where they are charged. Factories should address lithium battery safety concerns before producing electric bicycles. That's the root of the problem. Lithium batteries are the key issue. Let's not deflect to other topics. Like electric cars, Chinese regulations mandate the use of domestically produced lithium batteries in electric bicycles under the pretext of environmental protection. However, lithium batteries are notoriously prone to spontaneous combustion and rapid explosions, making rescue efforts difficult. If substandard batteries continue to be used in electric bicycles and cars, the consequences could be catastrophic. This is not a drill. When an electric bicycle caught fire, nearby residents used over 20 fire extinguishers, from dry powder to water-based, but couldn't extinguish the flames. A woman screamed, The electric bicycle is on fire! People around quickly grabbed fire extinguishers to put out the fire. 
After the fire seemed to be out, screams were heard again. It's on fire again! It's on fire again! It wasn't until professional firefighters arrived that the fire was finally put out. Apart from the 3.5 trillion electric bicycles, as of the end of 2023, China's stock of new energy vehicles reached 20.4 million, with pure electric vehicles accounting for 15.5 million, which is 76%. No one knows when these electric vehicles, whether on the road, parked in clusters, or charging, will turn into a deadly hazard. This is a centralized charging station for electric vehicles with a row of electric cars charging. The surveillance footage shows one of the cars emitting black smoke, then catching fire after a few seconds. The flames grew larger and spread to a nearby truck, causing it to tilt, indicating someone was inside the truck. The truck was eventually destroyed by the fire and it's unknown if anyone managed to escape. The fire then spread to the next car. The video indicates that the burning process of the three cars lasted only a short four minutes. During this incident, no staff members were seen and no effort to put out the fire. The online community shared their experiences, stating that they had previously worked in factories producing new energy vehicles. They mentioned that these factories had a large water tank specifically for submerging vehicles in case of battery fires because there was no effective way to extinguish them. Netizens pointed out that lithium batteries are prone to spontaneous combustion, but standard vehicles in China can only use lithium batteries. Lead-acid batteries do not catch fire, but using them would make the vehicle non-compliant. What should be done? Chinese citizens can only rely on luck. Some questioned why vigorously promote a product that is so unsafe, expensive, and of uncertain quality, likely to cause significant economic losses. Who is behind this vigorous promotion? This blogger said, The ubiquity of electric bicycles is attributed to the ban on motorbikes. As the government prohibited both electric motorcycles and light electric motorcycles, the only legally permissible option became electric bicycles. The new national standard restricts vehicle weight and mandates the use of lithium batteries. However, due to the inability to raise prices significantly, manufacturers are compelled to cut costs, resulting in frequent battery fires and explosions. The poor quality of batteries has led to a continuous occurrence of self-ignition incidents in electric bicycles and electric cars. However, the countless losses of lives and properties of ordinary people have not been able to make the Chinese Communist government truly pay attention to the safety hazards of electric bicycle batteries. Zhang Jianping, a current affairs commentator from Yixing, Jiangsu province, stated in an interview with Radio Free Asia on February 26th that despite frequent incidents of electric bicycle self-ignition, there is no official response. He remarked, by silencing the media, it is reflecting a disregard for human life. Interestingly, statistics on electric bicycles causing fires in China are sourced from firefighting and rescue departments. While these departments aim to showcase their achievements, they inadvertently reveal the truth about electric bicycle safety. Consequently, articles boasting firefighting achievements are often met with 404 not found errors. Commentator Shen Kunzai remarked that the authorities are unwilling to acknowledge the underlying causes of electric bicycle or electric car fires. The Chinese Communist Party promotes the new energy industry domestically and globally, but ignores the various safety hazards associated with electric bicycles or electric cars. Tsai added, they, the government, almost always try to cover it up. Once people perceive electric bicycles to have significant safety hazards, it will lead to a market contraction and even pose a significant threat to its exports. In addition to promoting the sale of domestically produced electric vehicles nationwide and assisting domestic brands in competing against Tesla, the CCP is attempting to dump domestically produced two-wheeled and four-wheeled electric vehicles into the international market through means such as state subsidies. Currently, Europe and the United States are taking measures to resist the dumping of Chinese two-wheeled and four-wheeled electric vehicles due to considerations of national security and protecting domestic industries. 
However, based on reports from mainstream media, the safety issues of domestically produced Chinese electric vehicles have yet to receive attention from European and American countries.